with profound humble gratitude and love to all venerated enlightened masters. We bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Part 4 of 4 Etc. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD. Нашите предавания предлагат много езици. Моля ви ще suprememastertv.com наклонена черта schedule и suprememastertv.com наклонена черта BMD. I am just hoping that uh, all the people become honest and truly want to save their own lives as well as the lives of their children. I asked all the gods, all the angels, all the divine intelligence to come down on this planet and help us to awaken humankind because time is pressing and we don't have enough manpower. Please keep watching to find out more. Vegan, cause free lawyer for the animal people. Look right there. No, not at me. I ain't got nothing. Look at him. Okay, let me get this out. Hold on. This squirrel just started following me one day. Jump, jump. You got it. You got it. We immediately formed a bond. How are you? How you doing? Look at him on my screen, though. Richard, get off of the screen, though. Why? Why do you insist? Oh, you just welcome yourself in, huh? It's time he gets his own house. What you about to see his house. He up in there like, oh, what is this? I got a fridge? Oh, Derek went all out for me. You like your house? Uh-oh. Okay. Richard, who did you tell? We got Maxine. That's Luther. And who is this? Benjamin. Peace is happening around our world. There are many countries who have taken actions to promote peace and foster amity among peoples and governments. The following is one of them. October 2023, Colombia and the rebel group known as FARC-EMC enter into a three-month suspension of hostilities and commence negotiations to resolve differences. By creating peace, we all can make a loving, serene and prosperous world. The most powerful daily prayer for any time and before meditation which is the order from God and Supreme Master Ching Hai shares with us by His blessed grace. We humbly worship, praise, thank, obey and love God Almighty, the Most High, the greatest for world vegan, world peace and our soul liberation. We thank, love, praise the only Son of God, who is the ultimate master for our salvation. We follow the teaching of all the saints and sages. We thank, love, and praise them, who are the representatives of God for our spiritual elevation.
We now invite you to watch the next part of this insightful conference entitled The Secrets of Venus, Part 3 of 12, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on August 29, 2009, in Los Angeles, California, USA. Hello, Master. Can you hear me? Ah, uh, sure. I can hear you. I Go have, ahead. I have two questions. How are you? I'm hey. very fine. Thank you very much. How are you? Ah, good, good. What is your question, love? Uh, the critical mass has been reached uh, around March 2009. How are we doing right now with the veg population in the world? We are getting better. You know, sometimes I watch television and almost all the televisions are uh, on the subject of planetary trouble and also on the subject of solutions, you know, like the vegan diet. Yes, today one of the Russian television uh, flashed some of the... <laughs> flashed one of the advertisements saying that the question, you know, is vegan the only solution to save the planet, etc. and are we forced to be vegan due to the planetary crisis, etc. I'm so glad, you know, I mean, maybe we can make it, who knows? <laughs> wow, fantastic. Ah, good, good. And then we can go to see the other two remaining Venuses. Mm, that would yeah. be great. Maybe. Yeah. Then you don't have to ask me so many silly questions. <laughs> make me awake in the night. You see, because your question seems simple, and my answers are also simple, but I had to meditate and search the whole universe, and I had to write out whatever I could condense or translate into human language. And I have to write in a darkness, you know, with a, a small flashlight, because I don't want to break my concentration and connection, you see? And I, I write in a small corner of my cave, <laughs> with a small flashlight, and sometimes it's not always uh, very pleasant for the eyes. <laughs> because sometimes when I get it, I cannot try to get my eyeglasses or anything like that. I have to do it quickly. Sometimes I scribble around. <laughs> I couldn't even read <laughs> my own writing <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Another question. How many vegans are still needed to save the planet? I told you already, the whole planet should be... The whole be. planet. I don't know if they can be completely vegan, all of them, but at least vegetarian. Meaning, suppose they have some cows as their pets, you know? And the cows, you know, sometimes give extra milk. Then, of course, they're allowed to take it. Hmm? But I am afraid saying that there might be a loophole, you know? <laughs> they will say... Okay, we will have like 100,000 cows as pets, <laughs> you know, then we go back to zero. Ah, oh, humans, they can always argue. I am just hoping that uh, all the people become honest and truly want to save their own lives as well as the lives of their children. I asked all the gods, all the angels, all the divine intelligence, to come down on this planet and help us to awaken humankind because time is pressing and we don't have enough manpower. Honestly, it's like that. Because our group is very small, so I pray day and night, uh, asking them to materialize themselves, use their power to influence people, to reason with people, wake them up, so they will be vegan quick. Hmm? And, of course, uh, they are helping us, yes? We have to thank them as well, yes. The gods and goddesses and the angels, they, they materialize themselves. <laughs>
for a short period of time on earth, talking with someone or helping them to awaken. I do hope that with divine intervention, we might be able to save the planet because uh, it takes too long for my, uh, for my liking. Hi, Master. Hi. Um, wow, just so much blessing we have. Um, my first question is, um, are most physical planets vegetarian? Oh, plenty, plenty, of course, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, as many as uh, non-vegan planets, there are also as many vegan planets. It's uh, countless, countless. In our galaxy alone, there are countless already, yes. And these uh, vegan society planets, they are more advanced than us, yes. They even have a traveling belt, you know. You just wear a belt on your, uh, on your waist like this, huh? Yes. And then when you want to go somewhere, just push a button. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> yeah. Push a button and you just fly, you know? Yes. Wow. Um, thank you so much. This is just one of the so-called inventions of their planet. There's much more that we could never dream of. But we will have it. We will have all that and more if our planetary population becomes more compassionate, more calm, you see, and more developed inside through calmness, through meditation, through the vegan diet, through compassion. Yes. Uh, you know, people do research and they recommend, and they say that uh, meditation calms the mind, yeah, makes your heart open and more compassionate, more intelligent even. But the vegan diet will lead people there because there's not much calmness, not much result comes from meditation if we are not compassionate. Even if we could uh, have more intelligence through meditation without the vegan diet, then uh, we don't have enough compassion, you see? Then we will use our power in a very destructive way. It won't be any good. We probably just earn some merit, uh, physical merit, like those on the first and the fourth Venus planet who probably had some merit from the past life through meditation or through some contemplation, but without developing a compassionate side to balance it. Therefore, they were reborn on Venus with all the merit they had all the intelligence that they got, but lacking compassion. They kill anyone who talk about compassion, who talk about God, who talk about moral standards, a prolonged and painful death. Therefore, they could not uh, survive. I can't wait for the day when everybody is just happy and they never have to wake up to fear another day of sadness. I know. Me neither. Sometimes, sometimes I thought I could not even bear one more second, not to talk about another day. But we just have to be patient and pray. You guys, all the people have to pray for divine intervention. Pray to all the gods and goddesses. Pray to all the merciful angels that they come down and materialize themselves somehow, because they can. They can. They cannot stay forever, of course nor do they want to stay forever. But I told you already in some other uh, time that the gods and goddesses from different higher levels can come down to earth and manifest themselves for a certain period of time. It depends on from where they come and for what purposes. So I have requested them. I have prayed to all of them. Please come down and help us. We really need you all right now. And I do hope that uh, it works because they did come down. So uh, don't be surprised if in the supermarket you bump into some <laughs> nice-looking <laughs> boy and <laughs> looks like you could fall in love with him or something. Please don't. <laughs> he might disappear in, in one or two weeks and leave your heart broken. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Master. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. Um, my second question is, has there ever been a time in our solar system 
when it was a community of planets and we were interacting with each other as the same on Earth? Hmm. Oh, yes, of, of course, of course, yes. Uh, that was a long time ago. <laughs> long time ago. We had interplanetary connections and all that. Then what made it um, stop? What yes. was the change that made it not happen anymore? Well, we degraded ourselves into materialism, greed, uh, cruelty, and ignorance, forgetful of our divine nature, and just plunging into material death. The more we go down, the more we go down. And so that's why we arrive at what we are right now. And I do hope people truly wake up on time. Otherwise, that's it. That's that. Thank you so much for your time, Master. And I think we all believe that having you over here, we're definitely going to save this planet. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Let's hope so, eh? Yes, let's hope so. And you do pray, okay? Yes, Master. Don't always pray to the Master. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. Don't pray to me, making me do all the work, huh? It's no, no fair. Huh? No. <laughs> you can pray to Master Power in time of emergency. You can pray to Master Power for liberation in this lifetime. But for our planetary problem, we have to pray to all the divine power up there everywhere, around us, above us, you know, under us, if you will, you know. We have also divine people with power who live under us as well, under the earth's crust, yes, deeper in the middle of the earth or a, a little deeper under the crust of the earth. We have to pray to all these divine beings, yes? Yes, Master to help us in some way, you know, because we are in a physical dimension. So we have to pray to them, request them, invite them to come into our planetary uh, physical existence. And no matter how short a time they can come, they can come and then they leave and then they come back and leave. You know, it's like visa expired. <laughs> 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 And please come back again, you know. <laughs> we always be glad to extend the visa infinitely. But the thing is, it's not all of them like to come down. I have to beg and pray and request. And we don't blame them, do we? <laughs> Who likes to come down here, especially when the house is on fire? huh? But we need them. So do pray with me, okay? Yes, Master. Yes. yes. We need another 60%, you know, more or less 60% uh, vegan population, eh? We have about 40 something now. <laughs> okay, that is uh, it's still very uh, reachable, right? Yeah. yeah. di là lascia stare la mia stellina ma te... mia la pallina dove stai nascosta fatti vedere vuoi uscire eh, sì. ah si sì, mi vuoi picchiare vieni tieni vieni, vieni. Esci! Esci! As a mother, I can attest from personal experience that parenting vegan children may lead to happiness without sacrificing health or fun. Dr. Manela Mansouri, MD, vegan.
tomorrow on Between Master and Disciples. Sun and moon, there are no beings on the moon. Even if you go there, they are only spiritual beings. And the moon itself is a spiritual great being. Same with the sun. The sun is a great, 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 great spiritual being who manifests himself to help our planet, to nourish all beings on our earth. He is beautiful, beautiful inside. He loves us all the time, no discriminating, always love, love, love. The sun is a fifth level being, huh? From the fifth level, yes. And the moon beings, they are also beautiful. They also love us very much. Noble viewers, we thank you for your company for today's episode entitled The Secrets of Venus, Part 3 of 12 on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is Selections from the Sacred Confucian Analects, Chapters 2 and 8, Part 1 of 2 on Words of Wisdom, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more constructive programming. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, heaven Godspeed. speed.